Hi guys, it's Hyper Ninja here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a trap door that opens and closes by clicking a button. So let's just show you this. It's quite a specific topic, but you can change this into many other things. So see this yellow thing? This is kind of the button. So I'm standing on a trap door and then let's click that and then I can close and open it. So it's quite interesting. It could be used as a trap. So anyway, that's what we're going to be making. So there's a small bit of modeling in this. So first, um, you don't have to do it on a ramp. I'm just going to do it how I want to. So I'm just going to make a ramp because, well, you want somewhere to fall to at least. And then let's make it a bit wider. Okay, anchor that. So unless you, if you don't know um, how to use unions, then you should probably watch this part, but if you do, and you modelled everything yourself, you can go ahead and skip further into the video. So what I'm going to do is make this. So this is going to be like the trapdoor. Actually, I'm going to make it higher, just so you can fall easier. So I'm not very that good at modelling, but I'll just show you how to make a union. So just anchor that, control C. One, two, three. And then let's just put them all in the spot. So to make the trapdoor, what I did was I selected them all and then I made them negate. And then I moved it down. And then what you do is you select the tr the actual trapdoor part as with it and then you click on union and then it should make this so that's kind of what you want as I said it's best to organize it so I'm going to call this trap door control C okay let's rotate that and bam okay let's move it a bit I'm um, going to name this trapdoor one so we can tell the difference. Remember, don't use numbers when you're doing it because then it'll, it just confuses. It doesn't really work out in scripts. Now I'm going to make a button thing, kind of. And what you want to do with the trapdoor one is change its transparency to one. Go to kind of collide and turn it off. And then, so after this, you know, I'll make it black so I can have a yellow button. Oh, my bad. Okay. So after that, let's put the button there, shape it how you like. Remember, try and make everything anchored or it won't work out. And let's make it yellow. Okay, so, you know what, I want to have a wooden trap door. Let's go there. And if you can't change the color because it's union, then inside it, you just need to find, no, it wasn't that one. You have to see, use part, it's actually use part color, so enable that, and do the same as that. Okay, so after that, inside this part, let's name it button, and add a click detector and add a script. So in the script let's write local click detect oops that's bad spelling equals script dot parent dot click detector so that's referencing the click detector and let's make a value kind of thing. So local open so it's kind of for the trapdoor equals false so next we're gonna write click detect dot mouse click colon connect function 
we don't have to write anything in these brackets this time. And then we'll write if open equals equals. You have to do two equals because that's what you do for those stuff in um, if there, if statements. And then you write false and then make that. And then so you have to do a couple of lines for this. So, oh yeah. Ah, game dot workspace dot and then I named my trapdoor trapdoor so I'm just gonna write trapdoor dot can collide equals false because the trapdoor is the one that's already able to be seen so then it's gonna turn it to false and then game okay, you know what let's just make it quicker copy that control C and then let's make it trapdoor one now so this one isn't um able to be touched so we'll write true and then let's just add this um so the transparency equals so it's either it's in between zero and one so I'll just do so it's the trapdoor so it should be one because then it'll be fully transparent and then so trapdoor one dot transparency equals zero so then that's what's going to happen if it's not open when you click the button and then you're going to write else since there's not two statements you write else not else if and then you're going to copy all of this just to make it quicker unless you want to take a long time and then what you want to do is if it's false make it true and then if it's true make it false pretty much just the opposite one would be zero and zero would be one now before we go into testing we actually need to change the open after you do it so when you click on the um, button when this um, open equals false then it should be opened after so you want to make it open equals true because it's now open and then for here you write open equals false because it was already opened and now you have to close it again because you clicked it and then after that it should be working so let's do a play test and damn that is quite a steep ramp I made okay so I'm here let's click my thing and there it's working so I can just spam this trapdoor <laughs> looks kind of weird anyway so thanks for watching please like and subscribe and support my channel bye bye